guys, it's Evan from Evan 2 HD, and welcome back to our special reptile mini-series. Each week, we're showing you some of the coolest pet reptiles. So let's check in with Brian from Animal Rights TV. So what have we got today? Well, we happen to have one of my favorite type of animals, a snake. But this guy is a corn snake. And there's really a bunch of different species of snakes, about 3,000 species of snakes. But this happens to be one of the best pet snakes out there. And again, they're called a corn snake and they come from all over Southeast America. And the reason that they call them corn snakes is twofold. One, they used to find them in cornfields, so they call them that. And then you see that cool belly pattern? A lot of people thought that that looked like the old Indian corn, and that's why these guys are called corn snakes. But you know one of the coolest things about snakes? You ready to stay real still for a second? Let's see if we can get them close to your nose. <laughs> see that tongue? You see him flickering his tongue? They have a forked tongue, and do you know why? They actually smell with their tongue, believe it or not. They don't smell like we do with our noses. They actually put that little forked tongue out, and they get the little particles in the air, and they suck it back in, and there's something that's called a Jacobson's organ, and that's what they do to smell things. That way, when they're hunting, when they want to smell their food, they'll go after it that way. And what do you guys think snakes eat? The mice. Exactly. These guys eat rodents like mice. And a corn snake like this guy, which by the way, what do you think a good name for this guy would be? Um, Speedy. Speedy? Okay, Speedy is good because he is kind of fast. Here, I want you guys to hold it for a minute. See how it is, huh? It's a pretty cool snake, huh? And you know, a lot of people think that snakes are slimy, right? It's not slimy at all, is it? No, not at all. They actually are kind of feel like leather, right? But snakes like Speedy actually will eat. Oh, it's going up your sleeve. <laughs> it's going to hide up in your sleeve there. They'll eat rodents, and this guy will eat a frozen thawed mouse, just like you would eat, say, a, a steak in your freezer, right? You just take it out, you thaw it out, and it's going to eat. And one of the great things about snakes is that they only eat once a week. So it makes them really easy pets because you don't have to worry about feeding them every single day. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Speedy is a really cool snake, isn't it? And it's a good name too because corn snakes are a little bit faster than some other snakes so they like to move around a lot and stuff like that. So you can't really put them around your neck like you could say a ball python or a boa constrictor because it'll just squirm right off. But these guys are what they call diurnal, which is opposite of nocturnal. So they move around all day. And again, when you look at those eyes, they have the round pupils, right? And that means that these guys cruise around during the day and not at night and they'll sleep all night. And again, they're gonna spend most of their time kind of hiding out though, waiting for ambush prey and, and uh, they're just really cool, cool animals. And again, really simple to, to take care of. So do you have any questions for me? How many bones does a snake have? Believe it or not, they have about 200 ribs. Basically, all a snake is is ribs and muscle. Do they have sharp teeth? Yes, they do. And that's what they use to grab their prey with. But fortunately, Speedy here, it would be very rare for him to bite because most snakes are really docile. But of course, anything that has a mouth could bite, so you have to always be careful. And just like when you're handling any animal, after you handle it, it's really important to wash your hands so that you keep your hygiene up, right? How big do corn snakes get? Speedy is about a year old, and he's probably, hmm, I'd say about two and a half or three foot right now. He's gonna max out at about five foot. And the largest corn snake that was ever found was 72 inches, which is six foot long. So they don't get really big, and they're only gonna get about maybe that big around. So they're not a big animal. They aren't hard to care for whatsoever. And they'll live a good 15 to 20 years. So Speedy is just really a little guy right now at being only a year old. Do snakes live with their families? The majority of snakes actually prefer to be alone. They're really solitary animals. So you would rarely see these guys in groups. Now there are certain types of snakes, believe it or not, rattlesnakes and garter snakes that during the winter, it's what they call brumation or hibernation. They'll get together in big snake dens where there's sometimes hundreds of animals in one little tight spot. But when it comes to corn snakes, they pretty much stay on their own all the time. They just are completely solitary animals. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Cool? 
And the thing that's neat about corn snakes too, is remember I talked in the past about paint jobs and the fact that we can make different colors. Corn snakes are one of the most varied animals out there when it comes to colors. We literally have them yellow, orange, red, purple, gray, black, you name it, and then all kinds of different patterns as well. So they're pretty cool. Again, pretty much anything that you want as far as color of a snake, you can find in a corn snake. So you wanna know how to set Speedy up in case you wanna keep him as a pet? All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so setup is pretty similar to the lizards, really, the same type of tank, but there's gonna be a few little minor changes. Because these guys eat rodents, you don't need a food dish, obviously. Okay, so all you really need is fresh water dish, which is really important. Again, climbing around is really good for them, and they certainly need a hide box. What does snakes shed? Believe it or not, they're not like us. When they grow to a certain size, they can't stretch their skin anymore, and that's why they shed. Every time they grow, they need to get a new layer of skin, and that's why they shed it off. So having a hide box with sphagnum moss in it helps that shedding process a lot. Now the other difference is, is that they don't really need any sunlight or UVB, so we don't have to worry about lighting really with them, but we use something that's called a hot rock, just like this. And this actually plugs in just like this, and they actually will sit on it and it helps digest. So you basically just put this in one side of the cage and you plug that in. And again, it has a little bit of a thermostat on it where you can go high or low to make it a little bit warmer depending on the species. With Speedy, you just need a kind of a medium temperature. You don't need it to be too hot. But again, snakes are cold blooded so they need warmth to help them digest. But fortunately, they don't need any lights whatsoever unless you want to. You can always put a light on just to make it look cool, but they don't need the light whatsoever. And corn snakes don't need it very warm. So your temperature of your house, as long as it has a hot rock, going to be 100% fine. And then the biggest thing about corn snakes is to make sure you have a really good top on it. Because the one thing about snakes is they like to escape if you give them any option. And that's probably not going to make your mom happy, is it? But I tell you what, if you ever keep a snake and it gets out and your mom finds it, you're probably going to be in a little bit of trouble. So the best thing to do is get a tank like the Zoomed tank right here with a really good locking mechanism. It actually has these little locks you put right in it and the snake can't escape. There's no way it can get out and that's really good. And then it's really simple beyond that. You just feed it once a week and again, we can, you can buy frozen mice from a pet shop and again, something I know your mom will love is to have frozen mice in the freezer. You can keep them right next to your, your steaks thaw them out in warm water and feed it once a week. And that's pretty much how you keep a snake. They're really, really, really cool pets. And again, you don't have to have anyone walk it or watch it if you go on vacation. Okay, you guys wanna put them in and let them cruise around a little bit? And these guys love to climb too, so you can kinda of see he'll be all over the branches. And see how he went right in that hollow log? That's perfect for him, but he'll come out the other side. <laughs> Do snakes have ears? Snakes do have what they call inner ears, but they don't hear really like we do, right? So they can kind of hear vibrations and sounds, but they don't have any ears, right? I mean, you don't see any ears on them, right? So they have what they call an inner ear, which is right in the same spot that our ears are, but they can't hear like we do. They just kind of hear vibrations. But they use that, and you can see how he's flickering his tongue all over the place. Right now, he's just kind of checking out the tank, going, what's going on here? And he's able to taste basically everything and smell everything and he's kind of laying the land, figuring out what it is. And if we leave it long enough, he'll probably find this hole right here and cl climb right into it. And again, right after it eats, it's going to spend a lot of time right on that hot rock, helping it digest its food. Do snakes give birth to live young? It's a great question and every snake is a little bit different. Now corn snakes have eggs actually and a, a, a snake like Speedy will breed when he's about two years old and now he's going to have uh, breed to a female that's going to have anywhere from 15 to 25 little eggs and those eggs are going to hatch after about 60 days of incubation okay now there are some snakes like boa constrictors and garter snakes and even rattlesnakes that actually have live young so basically they gestate them inside and then they just let all the babies out at one time, and sometimes certain snakes can have up to a hundred babies, live babies at a time. And the thing that's really different about snakes is they have no what they call maternal instinct, which basically means once they have their eggs or have their babies, 
the mom just crawls away and never sees the babies again. And those little babies, once they hatch or are born, are 100% on their own in the wild. And they have to hunt and find their own food and survive 100% on their own. The other thing that's cool about egg layers is that the eggs are actually squishy, not like a chicken egg, right? A chicken egg, you drop and it's gonna explode. A snake egg is actually almost like squishy, like leather. It's really weird. And they're born with what they call an egg tooth, which is this little tooth in the front of their mouth that they slit the egg with. So the egg doesn't crack, it actually slits open, and then they crawl out that slit. Pretty cool, huh? Corn snake was pretty cool. To learn more about corn snakes, check out this video from Animal Bites TV. Tune in next week to see what other animals we have.